Today we're here in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and we're gonna do Parsons Branch Road. You ready, Dawn? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. Parsons Branch Road open around springtime and we have never done it on this channel and I'm stoked. I'm stoked. Something new here in the cove to show you. Right on? I'm ready. Okay. So down there is the horse riding stables. You can actually ride horses here in the cove. Ah, oh, and it's a beautiful day. A little windy, sunny, and we are at 91 degrees, but that breeze feels awesome doesn't it mm -hmm. yes it does might not make good for uh, doing video but uh, those mountains are are beautiful a lot of folks have been asking us where's the little yeller Jeep and they're like do you have it anymore we don't see you ever drive it we do and we're gonna drive it today you'll see it mostly in this video uh, being it's a dry video and yeah this is the yeller Jeep it, a lot of folks have a thing for the yellow Jeep, don't they? Mm -hmm. They always they ask him. know where it is. Yeah. Here it is in yeah. the cove. Yeah, that's the yellow Jeep. It's fine. She's doing well, guys. Kind of got her like own little fan club, mm -hmm. the yellow Jeep does, doesn't it? Yeah, it's gonna be one of those bear jam type of days, you know that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even the rangers are out <laughs> speeding things up here in the cove. Getting it moving. Yeah. So there's a bear dead center in the screen. You'll see his back. It's actually a mom. It's kind of hard to see at the moment. There's a cub running, you can barely see the cub running. Yep, there's that bear. They're just little baby ones, aren't they? See her now. Now you can see her. Her um, black hair moving in the grass. The grass is kind of tall. <laughs> and she's got her babies with her, so. Her little cubs are running in the grass. You can barely see them. Wow. Little cub over there. He's poking his head up. Oh, there's. Okay, there's. There's mom and here's her cubs. She's got one little cub. There's a second, oh, there's the second one. Oh, wow. A 
Oh, look, Cubs are playing in the middle of the road. up there on the hill. because the cubs are so tiny they were little i can't believe i can't get over how little they are they're so adorable you you want to go up there and, and hug them don't you <laughs> <laughs> yeah and you'll get bit by mom yeah. mom ain't having that mom's not gonna let you oh this is where they crossed at by the sign so they got to be in the horse field now maybe we can get a catch a quick glimpse of them in the horse field oh i think they, they kind of moved on pretty quick. oh man i wanted to see it Do you see them? I do not see Any them. Any quick glimpse of them? I do not. Yeah, I don't see them at all. Oh man, I was really hoping to see that. The horses seemed intrigued when they were crossing the road over there with them. <laughs> the horses. Mm -hmm. uh, the horse, they the horse, kind of seemed like, horse. oh, what's going on here? <laughs> They're beautiful horses, too, over here in the cove. Yeah. Uh, I wish I would have seen them going in the horse field, and I guess we missed it. So we're here at the visitor center or the halfway point in Cades Cove and this is actually the start of our journey today. So normally you make a right and you'll go into the 
visitor center over there. It's got bathrooms, a gift shop, a uh, really cool grist mill. And then after that, you always turn left here and continue on the loop. But today, well, we're gonna go straight to Parsons Branch Road. This is where we're heading. Parsons Branch Road. Yeah, so we pulled off here. I noticed this little pathway. Looks like there's a little waterfall back here. Oh, there is. Beautiful little waterfall. A lot of butterflies and dragonflies in here too. I'm gonna try to get out of here. I have never seen this in the Great Smoky Mountains before. It's a passion flower. This flower was discovered in the 16th century by Christian missionaries in South America. The distinctive characteristics reminded them of the passion of Christ, which led it to its name and the term passion in regards to Christianity representing the suffering and the death of Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's just right on the the embankment of the hill here. There's a bunch of little, kind of like, like lilies or something. It's actually two-way traffic, uh, probably for about maybe a mile. I think up here it turns to one way, so you can come up this road a little bit and then, you know, turn around, but yeah, so. This is the Hen Henry Whitehead yeah. place. Yeah, it's the Henry Whitehead place. Yeah, it's a beautiful cabin. Henry Whitehead. And yeah, there's the Jeep down there. A the little spring house back out here. Let's go check the spring house out. Yeah, maybe not a spring house, maybe more of a some kind of storage. But yeah. It's a, or a barn. Or a barn. Yep. Yeah. They probably would have had their spring back in here because there's the the stream running down the side of the mountain. It's quiet. Cade's Cove was just buzzing and there's a lot of noise. And then you get out here. You hear the birds. You don't hear nothing. Yeah, this one here is, is quite dark. Hmm. There's the fireplace. <laughs> yeah, this one here is heavily marked on. And there's the second fireplace there. Yep, and then the little breezeway. Oh. <laughs> to look oh yeah, in there. <laughs> You're good. Oh, you, you, you're scared of the cabins? Yeah, it, has, it smells like chlorine or something. <laughs> it's just an old musty cabin musty smell. smell. It is like 93 degrees and it's a muggy one. And uh, here's another cabin that we have never seen. There's plenty more cabins in the mountains that I have never seen. So there's a lot on the North Carolina side um, that I want to explore. Coming up soon, we're going to start doing a little more North Carolina side of the Great Smokies. But uh, I like my hat. It says, life is good. And this is one of the bridges we just crossed. Oh yeah, the water's... Uh, pretty clear.
there's a lot of bridges <laughs> on this road and they're all pretty much brand new From the visitor center, we're about three miles in, maybe a little less, and we're here at Parsons Branch Road. An unimproved, primitive access, one way, no re-entry, four-wheel drive with high clearance vehicles recommended. This will take us out to the Dragon on US High Highway 129, eight miles ahead. And this is what we're we're gonna do. Ah, uh, so what do you think, Dawn? I'm excited. It's scary at the same time. I'm going to go that way. <laughs> yeah, there's like a little grassy that goes between the tires. And it even says, travel at your own risk. Limited emergency of uh, services available. And this will take us out to the Dragon. Yay. Now, you can turn around at this point and head back to Cades Cove. But once you, once you cross this bridge, you, you are committed on that eight miles. And here we go. Do a little, do a little off off roading, huh? Yep. <laughs> In the Smokies. <laughs> yeah, so you got Rich Mountain Road, and then you have um, Parsons Branch. Uh, they're both here in Cades Cove, and they're both primitive um, trails. Oh, here it looks like there's like, I guess maybe some four wheel drives have <laughs> went that way, didn't they? Oh boy, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Don's like, big Don's like, don't do that with my Jeep, right? No, I don't think I want that. Yeah. We'd probably make it. Yeah, we would have made it. We would have made it. It's starting to rain. Okay, so we are going up on an incline um, I don't have it in four-wheel drive so we haven't needed it so far we're about a mile in um, I would definitely recommend a higher clearance vehicle It's a little, a little rough. Going down? <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> now we're gonna go down a little bit. <laughs> it's a fun road to drive. Definitely fun. I guess it could be a little scary for some folks who don't. Oh boy. Yeah. Don't like to drive or We're don't. We're going down and then we gotta go back up again. Ouch. Oh yeah. It's kind of. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. It's almost like an it's off. <laughs> it's almost like an off-road thing, like right? A four-wheeler. Yeah. Okay, so there's a great big, huge wasp in here. Okay, buddy, make your way out. Oh, he's a scary. He is a scary one. We picked up a hitchhiker. Ah, Those are going to hurt come on. sting. Come on, dude. Uh, get out of the car. Can him with that? No, don't mess with him. Let, let, let's see if we can find his way on out. Oh, man. Come on. Out the window. You're so close. You're so close. Oh. Did he oh, get out? Yes. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Uh, 
Oh wow, this is a climb for sure. I did put the Jeep in four wheel drive um, and I would definitely suggest four wheel drive for this. Oh boy, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I think I hit a rock. Yeah, I definitely oh. suggest four wheel drive. Oh wow, there, look, there's a great big huge like hole. like hole there, so yeah. <laughs> so we just came up this and um it doesn't look like much on the camera but definitely a high clearance vehicle do you need four-wheel drive maybe not but i definitely recommend it looks like we're gonna have ourselves a little rainstorm this might not be a good scenario because if the wind picks up there could be some down trees and we would be stuck on the road i didn't bring my chainsaw i usually carry my chainsaw but i wasn't thinking we were going to be possibly in a storm um so we're gonna try to we're gonna try to scoot through this as quick as we can So Will's driving up this bumpity old road. <laughs> so I would say this is probably the most primitive road I've ever have driven in the Great Smoky Mountains. This one, the other ones are doable as long as you have a little clearance. This one here, you could probably still get away without four wheel drive, but if it got real muddy or anything like that, that could be a big problem with this road. Um, but if you have a low clearance vehicle, it dirt no you do not want to take it now our problem is is that we have a thunderstorm coming in <laughs> i'm really nervous <laughs> and i am afraid because parsons branch road is known for its down trees it's known for its uh uh just just because it's so primitive and that uh it's i don't know just not a good place to be out during a storm this this road has got a lot of ups and downs. <laughs> it's fun to drive if you love to drive. And... If you're experienced yeah. and you have four wheel drive, we had to put ours in four wheel drive the Jeep. So. Well, I put it in just because. Um... I don't got the big burly tires though, most Jeeps have. Mm -hmm. I just got mine basic. Mile marker one, we did a mile then. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> we got what, seven more to go? A little scary, a little nervous. Oh wow, look at these trees. I think they're poplars. They're huge. Look at the size of that tree. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I love that old old growth forest.
I can see this road getting washed out. In fact, I already see it, you know, on the side here, it could be, it could get washed out real easy. Yeah, so this is Gregory Bald Trail. Uh, 4.5 miles to, to Gregory Bald. That's the shortcut to get up to the azaleas on Gregory's Bald. The road is um, kind of washing out. It's cement though, but still. Yeah. Thank goodness for the cement. I'm not gonna hang out here too long. <laughs> Whoa! Nope. The other side of the bridge is starting to. Beautiful little waterfall here. Uh, we just came down from that steep road. Absolutely beautiful. made it to eight miles. Mm -hmm. The dragon is just over there. It was a great drive. It is a drive for drivers or folks who like to get off road. Um, it, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful old growth trees, you know, big, huge ones. You can't put your arms around and uh, I just seen a lot of great things. What'd you think? It was awesome. It was I was awesome. a little nervous, scared. <laughs> yeah. The, made it out. The rain and then there was like lightning and thunder and I was afraid that, you know, if a tree fell down, I didn't bring my chainsaw so it was like we could be stuck there. Um, yeah, that's definitely a concern. Um, also, I was worried about like road wash out because I noticed that a lot of the water, you know, washes down the road. That was a concern. Uh, but we'll have to do this again when uh, the weather is a little better. Take a stop. There's a lot of water uh, features like little waterfalls and things but you know it's great big trees is what I really really liked so I know a lot of questions folks are gonna ask do you need four-wheel drive I mean I do recommend it but really you don't need it you just need a high clearance I would not come down here in your small little sedan you'll definitely tear off all your flaring and it's pretty rough even for the Jeep we were like really rocking <laughs> folks that's gonna do it for today here in the beautiful Great Smoky Mountains. If you guys like this vlog, give it a, give thumbs, it a thumbs up. up. Also, subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain adventures. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.